It's been uh, one of the coldest we've ever had. It, well, it's going to go down in the history books. Uh, but we've got one more cold day before things actually start to turn around a little bit. As we end November, it's actually going to be nice and warm. Well, warm, relatively speaking. 24 degrees, though, this morning. Dew points are in the 20s, so it's a lot of dry air out there. It feels like it, but that's one of the things that's going to be changing here over the next couple of days. Moisture returning to the air. Some of the coldest temperatures we've seen so far. I don't know if I'd buy the 19 in Jasper. Their thermometer runs a little on the cool and warm side, but I'd buy the 19 up in Coleman. It is playing cold up there. 22 Gadsden, 29 in Hamilton, 24 right now in Birmingham, Talladega, 26 in Tuscaloosa. Yeah, this is the coldest morning we've had so far this fall. All dry on Storm Team radar. That's how we'll be for today, but by tomorrow, Things do start to change. Rain moves back into the forecast. Our winds will switch from a northerly direction to out of the south. More moisture, more clouds for Thursday, and that means a few more isolated showers. Not a total rain out for Thursday, but just a couple of showers around, and that'll kind of set the tone for the rest of the week. But for this afternoon, all kinds of sunshine, not a whole lot of cloud cover until we get to late tonight, early tomorrow. And then you start to see some very light showers show up. Like we said, this is not going to be an all day rain event. Not everyone is going to see some showers, but they will be kind of floating around central Alabama for Thursday. By Friday night into Saturday, our rain chances really start to ramp up. So let's talk temperatures. A warm up is coming. Temperatures start off very cold this morning. We'll be in the 50s and upper 40s later on this afternoon. Not quite as cold tomorrow morning. Numbers in the 40s and upper 30s instead of the 20s that we're in right now. You see afternoon highs on Thursday. Welcome heat wave. Middle and upper 60s in some spots, low 60s in the east. That's going to feel really nice around here. Then the rain moves in for Friday. A couple of showers on Friday morning, Friday afternoon into Friday evening. I think the coverage starts to increase off to our west, and that's where we could see some strong to possibly even severe storms. But right now, it looks like the severe weather stays away from us. That's some good news. We will see, however, some rainfall early on Saturday morning. It crosses over into Georgia. So if you're headed to the SEC championship game, it is going to be pretty soggy out in Atlanta on Saturday. 49 today, more sunshine, not quite as cold. Temperatures in the 30s for early tomorrow morning instead of the 20s. We'll take that. And that seven day forecast starts off with warming temperatures, showers around on Friday. The best rain chances will be on Saturday. A couple of thunderstorms too, with more rain kind of lingering into Sunday and early next week. All right, Lee, back over to you guys.